What's up, y'all? My name is Fabian Butler. I'm the owner, founder, and CEO of Fed Visuals. Today, I'm here with Darvin Henderson from Playmakers Athletics. So, tell me about Playmakers Athletics. What do you guys do? Like, what is this? <clears throat> um, basically, Playmaker Athletics is a brand, and um, under that brand, we have one-on-one -on -one training, we have fit camps, we have seven-on-seven -seven AAU football teams, we have football clinics, basketball clinics, and uh, yeah, that's it. Now, let me know. Were you ever a coach in the past? Uh, yeah, I've had five years of coaching experience, um, five years at the uh, high school level. I was also an offensive coordinator for a uh, community college uh, this this past year, so six years of experience altogether. So, when you decide to pick the athletes at Playmakers, what might some of the athletes go through that they don't want Playmakers? Um, basically, like you know, if if you're dealing with you know Playmakers or you're having a Playmaker Athletics workout, whether it's you know any services that we provide. You know, it's going to be hard work. Um, it's going to be diligent work. You know, it's going to be a lot of a lot of details. You know, the first couple of sessions, we might walk and talk through a lot of things. And then it may be, you know, some sessions where you're hitting in the bucket, literally, you know. But we always got to work hard because they're a representation of the brand. So if I take it easy on you and you're not doing what you're supposed to, you know, the brand isn't going to look as good. So we got to make sure all together, you know, collectively, we're doing what we need to do. Wow. Let me get joined with Playmakers. <laughs> um, do you plan on, how do you plan to expand your future? Um, I'm in the process of doing that right now. And I try to do that on a daily basis. Um, one thing right now, I, I try to expand into different services. So it started out with the one-on-one -on -one training, then the football clinics, um, then the basketball clinics, then the football showcases. Um, and then the 707 AAU team and then other things, you know, um, also clothing. Uh, to support the brand Playmaker Athletics. Um, also, with the traveling 707 team, the more we win, the more we compete, and the more people see the brand from the tri-state area, other areas, the better and um, the bigger the brand is going to be. So the more eyes we get in front of, the better it's going to be, the more it expand. Have any of your players um, went to college or anything? Yeah, yeah. Right now, I, I think I give a rough amount because I, you know, I wasn't prepared to get a number. Uh, but I say about 15 kids right now are in college. Um, I've been doing it for about three and a half, four years. Um, I don't want to get one of the colleges right off the bat because then I'm, I'm gonna leave some kids out and they're gonna be mad from this interview. But yeah, about 15 kids in college. I think I got about four or five kids playing Division One football right now. And um, I have others playing Division Two football, Division Three football, and then after this year, I should have about four or five more of that. So it should make make me an even, you know, cool twenty of playmaker athletic guys in college playing college sports. What are some of the areas that you help develop your athletes in? Huh? Um, strength. Wait, Go on ahead. the field and off the field. Oh, I like that. Um, strength, <laughs> strength and conditioning, uh, speed and agility, change of direction, explosiveness, um, weight loss, weight gain, uh, and also sports specific skills. Okay, and that's in the field of play or in the court of play, the track of play, whatever that is. Um, but also off the field, I try to shape their mind to uh, to to be focused and be confident. You know, so whoever comes through my brand, like we work extremely hard. That's an understatement. But also, you know, you kind of leave with a, a confidence of, or like a being of yourself, knowing that you could accomplish whatever you need to do because you don't work for it. And just having that confidence through, you know, other teammates or, you know, uh, people on your level that you've seen do it. And then you go out there and do it against other competition. You know, you all, you automatically bleed that confidence and that, and that aura about yourself. I got, I guess, one more question, but it's kind of more personal. It's more so just about you. Just like, what is your why? Um, my why? Um, my why was because I was a kid um, that like grew up and um, I love sports. You know, I still love sports to this day, of course. But it was just, you know, um, it, it's hard getting recruited. It's hard finding services to train. You know, when I was coming up, it was we were jumping gates and trying to trying to get into fields and and, and sneaking into basketball courts and stuff like that just to try to get some extra work. So it wasn't as as many avenues to train and to work and to get better. You know, I was going on the side of the highways to run hills. You know, um, as it was now back then. 
you know, so I try to be even to, like tutelage, you know, mentorship, even helping with grades and school and doing the right thing and just having certain philosophies and everything like that. I wish I was, you know, I try to be the person I wish I had back then and now, you know, so if the kids, the kids gravitate towards me and they try to ask, you know, what would you do in this situation? I'm going through a hard time, whatever, you know, some is personal and then some is, you know, sports and then some is school, you know, so I got kids that talk to me about school and we'll be in a full on act, sport activity is like, hey coach, I aced this test today, you know, we have a full blown conversation on the football field or wherever it may be about how good your grades is and how that's going to help you for the future and everything like that. So I try to be a one-stop shop, not just athletically and shaping your mind um, and body, you know, but also like your emotions and your spirit and everything like that. So once you leave out of here, hopefully you'll be a better athlete all around than, you know, than you did when you came through the doors. Wow. Touch me, you guys. <laughs> He's amazing. Is Thank there you. any last words you would want to let anyone know just about you or even playmakers or any athletes out there looking at this? Um, not about me, but um, I guess like for the brand itself, you know, Playmaker Athletics. Um, if you're on the fence, you know, or if you've been living under a rock and you don't really know about it or then you're not too sure about coming with, um, ask, your, ask your friends, ask your family, you know, ask people that know of it and know people that um, have personal experience with me or with my staff or with any services that I provide, you know. There's always caring, we're always learning, we're always working, we're always getting better. So I think uh, at any level, whether you want to do track, whether you want to do baseball, whether you want to do football or basketball, or you just want to lose weight, or let's say you want to tone up, let's say you want to gain weight, whatever it is, you know, you will have a great plan, you will work hard, and you know, you will get the desired results because my whole goal is to make sure that you're reaching your goals. If you don't do that, then I'm not doing my job personally, you know, so I take it personal with each and every one of my clients to uh, be diligent and try to get you to achieve what you need to achieve and that way you know the brand itself is going to thrive off that and there you have it folks Darwin Henderson with Playmakers Athletics <laughs> thank you